Okay, hello everyone. This is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. Pisces, this is your um, monthly reading for August 2021. So this is the first half of August, um, August 1st to like the 15th, the 16th. Um, I'm going to put you guys the angel number and as well as your, like your overall energy. I got me a new deck. It's your heart knows the way. So I'm going to put you guys the angel number, the overall energy from the my new deck. And as far as tarot, I'm only going to pull you guys four cards for tarot. Um, four cards, four tarot cards, and then I'm going to get into the T and probably the issues deck if need be. So, what's Pisces angel number for the first half of August 2021? Oh. Okay, it's zero, zero, zero. So, basically it's zero. And it's I am a creator. You are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. So, zero, 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 I am a creator. So, that's your angel number. <sighs> and let me pull you guys your or um, show. What's the message for Pisces, the first half of August? Okay. And they say, choose to see no faults. Choose to see no faults. And that's that um angel is in the water. So Pisces, that's right up your alley. That's water energy. Yep. Heavy intuition. Heavy some type of emotions, Pisces. Pisces, it could be love. Because love knows no faults for for the most part. So um this card could be telling you to choose love. Yeah, but that angel is like in water. Mm-hmm. A lot of it, too. So, that's number 25. Let me read it. Choose to see no faults. So, it say, you see faults in others when you see them in yourself. Do you see faults everywhere you look? Do you wish to change the world and those in it based on what you think is right? You've thought that your heart is pure, yet you've harbored within it a righteous intolerance of other people's faults. You've looked at the contrast around you, and you've seen only what you despise. If only they behaved, you've said, and with it, you've made them wrong and made yourself right. And at times, you've stripped them of their truth by calling them evil, and so justify your own attacks. This card reminds you that you cannot see faults in others without seeing them in yourself. What you condemn in others is the source of your own shame. Darkness descends upon you when you choose to see their faults. You feel unworthy and unloved when you withhold love from, from them. Today, set aside the, the destructive habit of finding faults within the world. Choose to see no faults, and with this choice... Allow yourself release, relief. Let your acceptance of others allow you to accept yourself. Witness how compassion lights up your own path to joy. You cannot know your own perfection until you know the perfection of others. You cannot see your own power when you strip others of theirs. Damn, Pisces. I mean, what you got, Virgo in your chart? <laughs> or your parents, one of your parents could be a Virgo? <laughs> That sounds like some Virgo stuff. So, let me go ahead and get into the tarot. But that's your um, overall message, Pisces, for the first half of August. So, what's, give me some messages for Pisces, the first half of August, 2021. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands that came out sideways. So, Pisces, you or somebody else could be a fire sign. Somebody is having difficulty with, um, I'm picking up flexibility. Um, because the Knight of Wands, that energy is ready at the drop of a dime. Very flexible. Willing to make changes, switch, switches. Um, because the Knight of Wands is all about making a bold move or making some type of bold change. So, somebody is having a hard time with some type of change or making some type of bold move. But I heard flexibility. And then we got the seven of wands. So 
So I'm picking up somebody made their decision and they sticking to it. So somebody could be stubborn. Pisces, it could be you or a fire sign. Don't have to be. But all together, that's eight wands. So this could be... um. Eight Wands is all about intercourse. It could be about communication, email, text messages, or traveling. Somebody's very defensive about their um, intolerance or inflexibility of something or someone. Pisces, that could be you. You could have fire in your chart. Or for whatever reason, Pisces, you're very passionate. It could be anger in August. That could be anger. What's going on with the Knight of Wands coming out sideways with the Seven of Wands? Clarify this. What's going on with this? Somebody made a decision and they sticking to it. Or Pisces, you can have Taurus or Capricorn in your chart. Stubborn? Yeah, the Emperor. What the? Um, Pisces, you can be acting like this towards a male figure in your life. Or a job. This male figure could be your father, it could be your husband, your grandfather, a boss, your baby father. But it's like you're not moving. You don't want to see their point of view probably in the matter. You probably don't want to have sex with this person. You could have blocked this person, the emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries or um, Pisces. You could have Aries in your chart or you dealing with an Aries. Some type of emperor energy. The emperor is very controlling, very dominating. Could be territorial at times. It's his way or no way. Clarify the emperor. Yeah, temperance. Yeah. Pisces, I think you're going to get... If this is you, Pisces, you definitely could have Aries in your chart. And I think temperance might show up. Or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Or um, you could have Sagittarius in your chart. This is all fire. Pisces, you going to be pissed off in August? Temperance. Clarify temperance. Clarify temperance. Pisces, you got to probably have to calm down. And then we got the king of pentacles. Yeah. Somebody could be having a dispute over money. <clears throat> Pisces, you could be um maybe going through a divorce or a breakup. And y'all could be having a dispute over money or something. The Queen of Pentacles. I mean, the King of Pentacles. Some type of stability. Or there could be an Emperor or a... There could be an Aries or a, um Earth sign fighting over you or something, Pisces. Or you could be the one in the competition. Yeah. So, let me see. This Emperor is this Pisces. Yeah, Pisces, that's you. Um, you can have Aries in your chart, Pisces. You very fiery. Um, in August. The King of Pentacles is this Pisces. The King of Pentacles is this Pisces. No, that um King of Pentacles is not you. Temperance, is this a person? Temperance, is this a person? No. Okay, so Pisces, you doing something against somebody. You could be being very judgmental or unforgiving Pisces to somebody. But temperance is going to show up and stop you. I think you could be trying to control this king of pentacles. Um, Or I don't know if you want something from this king of pentacles, Pisces, that's not yours. So Pisces, you could be a female. And it's like this king of pentacles could probably be your ex. And it's like, if y'all going through a divorce, Pisces, you probably trying to get this man for all he got. And it's like, the judge ain't going to let you do that. The judge going to be fair, Pisces. I think you, you, yeah. So this could be a situation to where, Pisces, you breaking up with somebody or you're in the midst of a divorce. And you, probably because this man was cheating on you, you found out he was cheating on you. It's like, you get nasty in court. So it could be you trying to take this man kids away from him or you want stuff from the marriage that wasn't yours. This could be a same-sex relationship as well. If this is a same-sex, Pisces, you as a man, and this is two men fighting over something. But Pisces, you're being unfair. And if this is a, like a legal case going on, Pisces, temperance is like, that's like 
the judge, the the um the laws and bylaws of the land. Whatever you trying to do, Pisces, legally, they're not gonna let you do that. Pisces, I think you're being unfair to something or someone. Yeah. Let me see. Oh my god, Pisces. You definitely could have fire in your chart. You could have Aries uh, like prominently in your chart. I don't know if you're trying to run somebody off the road. Um, what's Pisces issue? What is Pisces issue in this energy? What is Pisces issue against this person, place, or thing? What is Pisces issue? Emotionally withdrawn. Pulls back emotionally and bottles up their feelings. So, Pisces, you feel as though this person, you're angry at somebody, Pisces, because they are emotionally withdrawn from you. So, you probably want some love and affection from a king of pentacles. Or you could be wanting to break up or divorce somebody because they were emotionally withdrawn during y'all relationship. You mad at somebody because they withdrawn from you emotionally. Yeah. What is Pisces issue? What is Pisces issue? Under surveillance 24-7. Being watched closely all the time. So, Pisces, I think you got a temper. Pisces, you can be a female. You can have kids by this man. Or, Pisces, you can be in a leadership, leadership position at work. If you have kids by this man... He watches you 24-7 because he probably don't trust you around them kids. Pisces, you probably got a temper. If this emperor energy is um about work, Pisces, you the emperor. So you somebody's boss. But it's like you have a boss. So it's always, the boss always got a boss. And then the boss boss got a boss. So it's like you could be under like some type of investigation, Pisces, at work. And it's like you're under surveillance 24-7. So this is either like, this is some type of position. This can also be for Pisces men. Or Pisces, what can be going on too? Pisces, you can be a man. And it's like you and your lover, you guys are gay. And y'all have children. And I don't know if you, if y'all could be under surveillance 24-7 because of y'all, um, you guys sexuality and Pisces you you probably want society or, or something or someone to like accept your sexuality this could either even be like you and a lover trying to adapt the child and it's like this agency don't want to something like that I'm picking up same sex too Yeah, so somebody could be watching you, Pisces, because they feel as though you're not a good parent. Or you, you're you under inv investigation at work. Yeah, because something done happened. What's the tea with um this Knight of Wands? Because, Pisces, that's you. You being inflexible. Um, You're very stuck in your ways, Pisces. I wouldn't be surprised if you got Taurus or Capricorn in your chart. Then Aries? Oh, my God. Yeah, people probably think, yeah, that's, like, dominating, very, um, like, tyrant-like. What's uh, Pisces' issue with this Knight of Wands coming out sideways? What's the T with that? What is the T? Well, Pisces, you could have somebody else under surveillance 24-7, and this person probably trying to break away from you. So this can be, like, a lover... Or a co-worker or something. Or maybe even a child. And it's like this person have withdrawn from you emotionally, Pisces. Because you're over, like you could be overbearing. Because it's like the, your issue could, it's like you got this person under surveillance 24-7. And somebody trying to break free of you. And it's like you ain't moving, you not changing your perspective. You ain't trying to hear what they trying to say. And it's like, then you wondering why the relationship is not moving forward. Yeah, a player. So, 
Pisces, you probably, oh, like I said, I'm picking up, like, Pisces, your um upbringing. I'm picking up your upbringing. Pisces, you could be a man, Pisces, and you don't see nothing wrong with being a player. You don't see nothing wrong being, with being a player. You don't understand why your person don't want nothing to do with you. Because you stuck in your ways. You the knight of wands in reverse. You're not willing to change your ways because you a player. Yeah, and this person, that king of pentacles. Yeah. This king of pentacles, they, this person. Let me put this back in the deck. What's the tea with the seven of wands? Yeah, creativity muncher steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates feeds off of you. What's the tea with creativity muncher? Or Pisces, is are you trying to... Are you trying to steal somebody's ideas and, and then it's like when they figure out what you're doing, you get mad at them? Because you're trying to dominate somebody. Something or someone? Let me see. What's the tea with, cre tea with creativity mantra? Pisces, you doing something that's night. Like, it's like unwarranted, bankrupt, yeah. Bankrupt. So, Pisces, you could be going through, you could be going through something, like you're bankrupt. So, this could be bankrupt as far as your money or like your resources, allies, friends. You going bankrupt probably because people probably view you as a creativity muncher. What's the tea with this emperor? What in the world? I mean, what's the tea with this emperor? What's the tea with the emperor? What's the tea with the emperor? Cyber bully. Yeah, Pisces, you bullying somebody online. Yeah, you bullying somebody online. What's the tea with this temperance? Into you. Good chemistry, great vibes, positive. Yeah. Um, Pisces, temperance. Temperance is not a person. Temperance could be this king of pentacles. The temperance could be angelic presence. Or temperance, I'm picking up temperance is like the court system. Or this is somebody's angel protecting them from you, Pisces. Because you're bullying someone online. And it's like, Pisces, I don't know if you could be married. I'm picking up masculine energy. Pisces, if you're a female, you could be in your masculine energy. But it's like you're trying to dominate somebody. And temperance is telling you basically to be nice. Timber's telling you to be nice to somebody because you're dominating. You're being very cruel, very masculine. And it's like Timber's is telling you, how about you be nice to this person? Build up a good chemistry with this person. Great vibes. Be positive, Pisces. That's what Timber's is suggesting to you. Be nice to this person. Or Pisces, you could have did something to somebody in the past. You could have stole somebody's ideas and caused them like bankruptcy. And it's like, you want this person to forgive you. But it's like, they, you got to give people time to forgive you when you offend them. Like, it's like you trying to make this person forgive you. And they probably don't want to forgive you right now. Something like that going on. Yeah. What's the T with the King of Pentacles? Chasing. Yeah. I think you chasing this King of Pentacles, Pisces. Or this King of Pentacles done left you and is chasing somebody else. Yeah. 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 Something like that going on. Creativity muncher. Was Pisces being a, a creativity muncher? Was Pisces being a creativity muncher? Yep. At work, Pisces. So, Pisces, I don't know if you was like a boss or something. And it's like at work, you were still in content. You could have been doing something illegal. I don't know if you were doing it on purpose or not. You could have been doing something illegal because it don't have to be on purpose. It could have been Pisces. 
because you probably wasn't following protocol or you haven't updated your system or something, it pushed you into something that was illegal. So you probably didn't do this on purpose. But it's like because you're the emperor and you're like un inflexible, you didn't want to change the policy. You didn't want to do it their way. So it's like it could have pushed you over into doing something illegal by default. Some of you guys was still in doing something illegal concerning work. It was by accident, by default, because of how you was operating your business. And some of y'all was doing it on purpose. Yeah. But Pisces, you was being a creativity mon a creativity muncher. You're you either did this to the pat in the past, and it's like you're trying to make this the person who was a victim to your cyber bullying. You it's like you're trying to make this person forgive you, or you could be trying to bully them into not taking you to court or something. Or you're gonna do this in August, and it's like you still trying to bully somebody. Or you don't know how to leave well enough alone, Pisces. I'm picking up too. So this could be a situation where Pisces, you was doing something and against someone. You was bullying them. You were stealing from them on top of bullying them. And it's like this person don't bring charges up against you. And it's like you ain't happy with that. It's like you're trying to force this person to do something against their will. And it's like you're, you don't know how to leave well enough alone, Pisces. So I don't know. You might end up in court. Because you don't know how to leave well enough alone. I'm picking that up too. Or somebody could have offended you, Pisces. And it's like your revenge was like overkill. Somebody could have did something to you. But it's like your revenge was overkill. Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> yeah, something like that going on. And it's like temperance is going to tell you. You need to be nice to somebody. Yeah, good chemistry. Or Tempers could be telling you. Tempers could be saying, Pisces, what happened to you? You bugging. What's going on with you, Pisces? Remember when you loved this person? Remember when y'all was good business partners? Y'all was getting along. When it was good chemistry, great vibes. When it was positive between y'all? So, Pisces, you could be under a lot of stress or a lot of pressure. And it's like, you get very mean and cold in August. And Tempers could be here to remind you. Of how you used to be before. I don't know. You could be a basketball player. And you like under pressure. And you being mean to people. Maybe even your wife or your husband. Or probably your kids. Or it's like Pisces. You could be going through something at work. You could be under investigation. Because you was doing something at work. You probably wasn't supposed to be doing. And it's like you could be taking your anger out on like your family and loved ones. Something like that could be going on too. Yeah, something like that going on. Yeah, but it let me know, Pisces, you was this creativity muncher. And it was because you was in bankrupt. Or you stealing from this person, it caused this person to go bankrupt. But you was being a cyber bully. Yeah. Let me see. Tell me more information about... Pisces being a cyber bully. Yeah, something about moving. You could have been trying to in intimidate the competition, Pisces. But you was being... You overdid something, Pisces. You overdid something. You overdid it. Yeah. So, Pisces, I'm going to end it. Um, keep in mind, Pisces, that um, this reading may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading... Some parts of the reading may resonate. Other parts might not. As well, Pisces, keep in mind that timing is fluid. So this reading can manifest during the first half of August. It can manifest later on down the line of time. Or this could be something that happened in the past. Pisces, if this is something something that happened in the past, um, you just got to figure out what spirit trying to tell you in the present year. So um, Pisces, this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Thank you, Pisces.